Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss how we can generate the model from the existing database with the help of Entity Framework Core in ASP.NET Core MVC application. So here this is a ASP.NET Core MVC application which is a blank ap application. So we are going to generate the model. The first step is we need to install the Entity Framework Core inside our application. So go to the Tools tab and scroll to the NuGet Manage Packager. After that we have to select manage nuget package for solution and once uh, you have selected this type of window will appear so after uh, opening this window you have to install these four packages which is very important for our entity framework core the first uh, frame uh, the first package is microsoft.entity framework core second is microsoft.entity framework core.sql and third one is microsoft.entity framework core.sql server.design and the last one is microsoft.entityframeworkcode.tools so you have to install these four packages in, in your application after installing these uh, four packages you have to create a new folder inside your application just right click on your application and select new and select new folder so here i am going to use models as the name of the folder after adding the model in your application we need to run the command which will generate the model in our application so go back to the tools again and scroll down to the nuget package manager and this time we have to select package manager console this type of window will be pop up here we need to write a command so that we can generate models in our application this will be the command here the first is scaffold db context will create a context in our application after that the server here i am using the dot because i am using the local database of my system if you are using some remote database so you can provide a tail of your server and the database here my database name will be demo and then trusted connection equal to true after that we have a microsoft.entityframeworkcode.sq well because we are connecting the entity framework core with the SQL server that's why we have to mention this uh, uh, keywords here after that which is output dr and models the models is this model is very important because uh, models define that where we want to generate our model classes here our folder name is models that's why I, I write here models if a folder name is data then you simply uh, type data instead of model so after writing this uh, command we have just copy this command and paste this commands inside your package manager console and press enter after that your process will be started and it will take few minutes and now you can see uh, our build has been successfully complete and the models has been generated inside our model folder so in this way you can create or generate the models from your existing database with the help of entity framework core so if you find this video helpful you can like this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel